we're going to look at some damage to trees that is very common in the landscape. This type of damage is caused by mowing equipment and weed, uh, weed whackers and weed trimmers. And um, what happens is the bark is damaged by this equipment. And this can be a, a big problem because the exterior of the tree is where the nutrients and water are transported up and down the trunk. A lot of people think that that happens inside the trunk, but it's actually in the outer layers, the sapwood, uh, which are very important for nutrition of the tree. And so, uh, wounds at this point can disrupt that flow and even small wounds, uh, a number of small wounds that accumulate over time can be very damaging. And now the damage site also acts as an infection site for disease organisms. Disease can get in here, we've opened up the bark, we've created a site where disease organisms can get in and then they start affecting not just the damaged tissue but the healthy tissue adjacent to there. And we'll also get wood decaying organisms that will start to develop in here. And these problems can, can grow to a point where they girdle or wrap around the entire tree. And you could get the, a, a tree to die from such damage. Mower damage can be most detrimental during the early spring when the tree's leafing out and in the fall when the leaves are dropping and at this time the bark is what they call slipping and if the tree's damaged when the bark slips it just makes that injury much worse although it is a problem anytime during the season now if you catch this wound right away you can try to um, staple or tack the bark back over in place and you want to lay it as close as possible to where it had originally been and just staple it right back in. Now this damage is too old. To, to repair it you'd have to do it within a couple hours of the damage. Um, older damage like this you want to just trim up uh, the loose pieces but don't cut into the healthy tissue. Just try to clean it up a little and let it heal over time. Now this type of damage usually occurs when we are uh, mowing or trimming too close to the tree. And it can be prevented either by hand trimming around the tree or by mulching. Mulching around trees has many benefits. Uh, for one, it can reduce the weeds, um, which also limits competition for water and nutrients between the tree and the weeds or even grass that might grow around the tree. It also helps maintain soil moisture, um, which can help you uh, limit your watering. And it also regulates the soil temperature. So there's a lot of reasons to mulch. Uh, and of course, we're talking about preventing lawnmower blight. Now when you're mulching, you don't want to pile the mulch up around the trunk. We see this all the time. I call them uh, little mulch volcanoes. We don't want a mulch volcano. What happens is it causes su surface roots to grow in here and it also creates an environment that's suitable to disease and insect development. Instead, we want to create an empty space around the trunk, about you know, maybe three, four inches, where there isn't any mulch. Now, if weeds grow up in this area, you're just going to need to remove them by hand, but it won't be a large area to manage. Now, we want to create a ring about four to six feet around the entire tree. Uh, you can mulch all the way out to the edge of the drip line for a larger tree. It's not going to cause any harm. It can only help. And um, once you have a nice ring and with the donut shape here, empty around the center, just spread that to about a two to three inch depth. You don't need a whole lot of mulch to get the job done. This will do a great job of retaining weeds. You also don't want to lay a plastic weed barrier beneath your mulch. The mulch itself will retain weeds. If you put that plastic barrier underneath, you're going to cause problems with water and air exchange. And you're also going to promote shallow rooting and roots at the surface, which can be damaged by really high temperatures and really low temperatures in the winter. Now if you have grass growing beneath your trees that you need to remove that before you put your mulch out. And the best uh, way to do that is to use glyphosate, which is sold as Roundup or Cleanup. And the way that glyphosate works is it's taken up through the leaf material and it becomes inactive in the soil. So it's not going to damage the tree roots, it's not going to be taken up by the tree roots. You do want to put some sort of barrier, like a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood. Uh, 
up around trees and other plants when you're spraying just to protect uh, that the foliage from droplets of your uh, herbicide and you don't want to spray on a really windy day which will cause drifts. Lawnmower blight is preventable. You need to educate everybody who works in your landscape and make sure that they understand how detrimental uh, lawnmower damage can be.